Good morning. Landlines are going digital as the UK phone network gets a massive overhaul. The old analogue system will be switched off by 2025. I'll explain what it means for you and how to stay connected. Um, now, you might be more used to using your mobile phone these days, but if you've got a landline at home, uh, things could be changing. Yes, the UK's phone network is going digital. Ben can tell us more. Landlines, Ben. Yeah, when did you, la when did you last use a landline? I, don't know I can't remember. At home. <laughs> Do you, know your, do you know your landline number? I couldn't tell you, to No, be honest, I don't know actually. mine. I know it exists because yeah. I have to have it to have broadband. Yeah. Yes. But, but I don't even have a handset yeah. plugged in, to be honest. <gasps> um, but, yeah, many people do still rely on them. Uh, and uh, they are an important uh, function, especially if you don't have internet. Although landlines, as we know them, won't be staying quite the same for much longer because the UK's phone network is going digital for most of us by 2025. If you've already got an internet connection, the switchover could be as simple as plugging your existing phone into your broadband router rather than the phone socket on the wall. But 1.7 million households have no internet connection at home, and up to a million people have actually cut back or cancelled their internet packages in the past year to save money. If you don't have broadband, there is an option during the switchover called a pre digital landline service. That lets you keep using your handset plugged into the wall, so don't worry, you won't be cut off. Lots of devices, actually, from traffic lights to ATMs, uh, rely on the analogue phone network. And in our homes, so do some burglar alarms and health alert systems. Now, if you have one of those, tell your phone operator before you switch to make sure they will keep working. And we should say, people over 70 generally aren't being switched over in the first stages of this. Caroline Abrahams is from Age UK. You'll only be contacted about switching over when it's your turn, when, when it's your region. And also, people who are aged over 75 are not being switched at all at the moment. They are being left till a bit later on in the process so that the, the telephone providers can be absolutely sure that they've got the right equipment that they can give you, particularly if you're someone who doesn't have a mobile phone or broadband, so your landline really is your link to the world. Nobody has to make this switch unless you're ready to do so. There is the opportunity to say, no, I don't want to do this quite yet. So no reason to get too worried about it. Well, the switchover has already begun. It's being rolled out region by region. Uh, you don't actually need to do anything until you're contacted. The first parts of the country to get it include Northern Ireland, the East Midlands and Salisbury. It's currently happening in the northwest as well and will start being rolled out in London this autumn. Sally, Ben. But, Ben, what's interesting is you talk about we all have that landline bit of our bill, don't mm. we? Even if we don't necessarily use the landline. So is that going to change as part of these changes? It's a really good question. Um, we've, we've asked about this, and um, because the new system still uses the cables and wires, they still need to maintain that. So you'll still be charged, but it will be rolled into one single price. So you might look at your bill and think, goodness, my broadband charge has jumped up, but it's because they'll have rolled the landline line rental into that as well. So you pay one amount and you see that as one charge on your bill. So it's not a discount. You're not getting to save any money, but they also say it's not overall pushing your bill up either. Why does that not surprise me that the price doesn't come down? <laughs> it never does. <laughs> never does, does it? <laughs> Thanks, Ben.